Dallas County Commissioners are calling for changes to be made in the bail bond system after a federal judge declared the bail bond program in Harris County unconstitutional. Fox 4 Sean Rabb in our Dallas newsroom. Sean, you've got the story. I do, Clarice. You know, the purpose of bail is to ensure a person charged with a crime will show up for court in all pretrial hearings. But in some cases across Texas and right here, bonds have been set so high people can't get out of jail. Saroy Flowers trying to walk away from the nightmare he entered when he moved to Dallas from California October 2014. I was in 19 days, I was in jail. Facing a felony assault charge. I was charged with assaulting a security guard, hitting him with my arm and elbow with, at my apartment while he lived, used to live at. His bond, $40,000, which he could not make. Flowers floundered in jail, refusing to accept an eight-year prison term the DA offered. He spent 360 days waiting trial before the uh, district attorney dismissed the, uh, the case. Dismissed because the security guard admitted he lied about the assault. Unfortunately, he was forced to sit in jail and, and await trial. And that's many of uh, Dallas County indigent defendants are faced with that, where it's if I can't post a bond, then I have to wait. Texas has been deemed as a, quote, debtor's prison. Dallas County Commissioners addressing the bail system after a federal judge in Houston declared Harris County's bail system unconstitutional because high bonds keep people in jail unfairly. Um, we are envisioning a system where the information that is necessary to make decisions based on not somebody's uh, resources but upon their risks. County Judge Clay Jenkins saying a fix necessary. For um, our indigent uh, to be able to get out and, um, of jail and be with their families during the time of their disposition when they're not found uh, guilty of anything. Saroy Flowers trying to see his future again, losing everything, held in jail by a high bond 360 days. Everyday struggle is fighting to stay alive. Now, um, Saroy Flowers suing the security guard, the company the guard worked for, and the apartment complex. Commissioners today appointed a pretrial release director who will create a new way of determining bond. Before bond will be set, there will be a mental health screen, a risk, and indigency, indigency assessment. Currently, the indigency assessment is done after bond is set. That's done after bond has been set, and so then, you know, they can't factor in that person's economy at all. Uh, as far as pretrial release, they will ask for increased personnel so they can monitor these individuals. Clarice, none of these folks will be high risk offenders or folks who've committed or are accused of violent crimes. All right, Sean, we know you're going to continue to watch it. Thank you. Okay.